Russia has launched a powerful offensive in southern Ukraine, taking control of strategic locations. Russian forces advanced in Nikolaev, a strategically important area of southern Ukraine, taking control of a 12-square-kilometer area. Russian Defense Ministry spokesman Lt. Gen. Igor Konoshenkov said on August 23 that Russian troops suppressed Ukrainian troops defending the city of Alexandrovka and entered the border of the Nikolaev region. The city is located in Ukraine's Kherson region, which has been under Russian control for several months. The area is located at the mouth of the Dnieper River, where water from both rivers flows into the Black Sea. Bed bugs rise north, where the city of Nikolaev is located, the capital of the region, but also an important industrial and port city, an important stronghold of the Ukrainian army. Konoshenkov also said that in southern Ukraine, Russian troops entered the Nikolaev area and controlled 12 square kilometers. He said the attack took place near the village of Komsomolskoy. Russian troops control a small area southeast of Nikolaev on the border with Kherson. The U.S. Embassy in Kiev said on August 23 that there was news from Washington that Russia will intensify its attacks on Ukrainian infrastructure in the coming days. The U.S. Embassy also urged its citizens to leave Ukraine immediately where available and safe. The warning came as officials in Kiev feared Russia could step up attacks on targets across Ukraine, including the headquarters in the capital, Kiev, on the 31st anniversary of Ukraine's independence. The conflict is also six months away. At a press conference in Kiev today with Polish President Andrzej Duda, President Vladimir Zelensky said Ukraine faces the threat of attacks on a daily basis. Zelensky warned Russia not to increase the number of attacks day and night around Ukraine's independence. Ukrainian presidential adviser Mikhailo Podolzhak also predicted that Russia could step up airstrikes as Ukraine celebrates Independence Day. Before the Independence Day event, the capital Kiev issued a ban on public gatherings from August 22 to 25, while the city government of Kharkiv in northeastern Ukraine also imposed a curfew from the evening of August 23 to the morning of August 25. President Zelensky announced that Ukraine will fight to defend every city from Russia. Russia's current focus is ostensibly on consolidating control of territory it has acquired in Ukraine, applying the Crimea scenario circulating to its control of territory in eastern and southern Ukraine. Rubles to issue passports to locals. In addition, Russia continues to attack towns across Ukraine to dominate the Kiev counteroffensive. Recently, a mysterious explosion occurred at a Russian military base on the Crimean Peninsula in southern Ukraine. First, the headquarters of the Black Sea Fleet was attacked by drones, followed by successive explosions of ammunition depots. Experts say recent events in Crimea show that Ukrainian forces are increasingly aggressive in their tactics, relying on Western-supplied special forces and long-range weapons to strike deep in the rear. Enemy fronts, disrupting supply lines and hindering Russia's advance.